Welcome back to the channel, Sani Squad. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? I'm Sani, and this is Sani Kicks. And in today's video, I'll be going over the top 10 best sneakers to wear this summer. Now, because this is just my opinion, if there's a sneaker that's not on the list that you feel should be, comment down below what that sneaker should be and put us on. Now, with all of that being said, let's get into it. At the number 10 spot, I feel like it rightfully goes to the Adidas Gazelle Indoor. It's a beautiful low top and sleek design. The colorways are beautiful for the summer. There's a ton of different colorways that you can choose from that are always in stock. Now these may not be the best for comfort, which is why they're at the number 10 spot. But when it comes to style, these definitely exceed expectations, which is why they made the list. The retail price is affordable, and sometimes you can even get these on sale. Now for the number 9 spot, I decided to go with the Jordan 3, and really you could wear any Jordan 3, they are great for the summer, but I wanted to try to be more exact with the colorways, so based off everything that came out in 2024 so far, the Kraft Air Jordan 3 is definitely the best pick for the summer. And I do remember people saying that they went on sale, I think for like 159 or something like that. So for anybody that was able to grab them on sale, definitely came up. Jordan 3s are very comfortable, and when it comes to this colorway, it screams versatility with the neutral tones, and not only that, you do have the best of both worlds with this shoe. The Nike and Jumpman logo is on the back tab, the leather quality is superb along with that nice suede throughout, and yeah, definitely a shoe you can't go wrong with. But for the number 8 spot, I'm gonna take a left turn and we're gonna go down a different path real quick. At number 8, I'm gonna give it to the New Balance 990 V3. I've got the these on here strictly for being one of the most comfortable shoes I ever put my feet in. You can wear these for many different purposes, whether it's vacation, a hike, working out, running errands, or if you're just going to be out for the entire day and want to maintain that same level of comfort that you left the house with, the 990 V3 is definitely for you. Now at the number 7 spot, I'm going to give it to the Nike SB Dunk Low, specifically that Futura Lab colorway. I don't have those, but oh my gosh, those are hard. I know there are a lot of people that would put this higher on the list, but the only reason I don't have them higher is because you do have to pay a hefty resale price in order to get them. One of these days, I'm gonna have to come up with a trade in order to get those because I'm a fan of art and creativity, so something like that, I can't let those skyrocket into insane prices. I gotta get them now while they're like, what, in that four to 500 range? I have no idea what I'm willing to trade for those, but something gotta work. I have to make something work for those. But now for anybody that wants an affordable option, go with a regular Nike Dunk Low. You can find these just about anywhere nowadays. They do not sell out like they used to. And I believe you can get them for like under $100 at this point. Now coming in at number six, I'm gonna give it to the Adidas Samba. It doesn't matter which Samba it is. It could be the OG or the classic. Personally, I like the OG more, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Now, yes, they are very similar to the Adidas Gazelle Indoor, but these are better. Now, these aren't the greatest when it comes to comfort, but they are a bit more comfortable than the Gazelle. I mean, that's not like a crazy flex or nothing, but hey, it helps. But everything else I said earlier about the Gazelle can easily be applied to the Samba as well. The other reason why I have the Samba over the Gazelle Indoor is because I kind of like the shape a bit better. I'm not entirely sure how to explain it, but the Sambas just have a more complete look, whereas the Gazelle Indoor is a lot more narrow. And the second reason why I have these higher than the Gazelle is because when it comes to, you know, trends going on, these still have a bit of hype to them. Recently, they had another Wales Bonner collab along with a Jown collab. And as we get into the top five category, trends, whether you like them or not, does have a part to play behind these picks. Starting at number five is Nike Air Maxes. The Air Max in general is just a great option for the spring and summer. They even recently came out with a new one. I forgot the exact name of it, but they are pushing those heavy right now. I see Air Max 1s, 90s, 97s, and 95s just about everywhere I go. And even though this shoe is not an Air Max, a lot of people do qualify it as one, so I'ma just go ahead and throw it in there. The Nike Air 180 Ultramarine. These are very comfortable and vibrant. They're not going for a lot in resale right now, so you could definitely grab these for a solid price. And when the sun hits these while you're outside, these go crazy. I highly recommend those for anybody going on vacation soon. Now at the number four spot is actually a tie. The A6 Gel 1130 
and the Gel Keanu 14. These have had an insane run this past year and continue to go strong. The colorways appear to be similar to each other, but there's enough of a difference to make people still buy both pairs like crazy. Style wise, when it comes to how the shoes look with outfits and the overall shape, I personally like the 1130 more. However, the Keanu 14 for sure has the better colorways. Even though I do not own a pair yet, I've been told that they're as comfortable, if not more comfortable than the number three spot, but because I do own the number three sneaker, that's why I have it at number three. So coming in at number three is the Nike Zoom Vamiro 5, and they are arguably the most comfortable shoe on this list. There's a large array of colors to choose from, and they even feature 3M on parts of the shoe for a slight flex. I originally bought this pair to wear casually, but after I went walking in them one day, they instantly became my favorite workout shoe. If number one and two weren't classics, these would easily be my number one go-to summer sneaker. Now I do have a few honorable mentions. First up are the Air Jordan 1 highs and lows. The low, of course, is better for the summer, but say it's a rainy and gloomy day, that's when you pull out the highs. Next up, I'ma say the New Balance 9060. I personally do not like this shoe at all, but so many other people love it and swear by it, so I gotta respect it. After that, I'ma say the Air Jordan 7, definitely one of the best Jordans out of the retro line to wear during the summer. And now to wrap things up, the Vans New School. Now picking number one and two was very easy. I did not have to think hard about this at all. At number two, we have the Air Jordan 4. It can be any Jordan 4, but out of the 2024 releases, the Military Blue is definitely the best. And I'd say the Oxidized Green is a close second. By the way, for anybody that likes these, they come out on June 15th, so keep an eye out for those. Jordan 4s, in my opinion, are the best looking sneaker that was ever created because of how perfect they are for every season. Colorways like the Military Blue look phenomenal under the beaming sun and looks great with summer fits. Coming in at number one is easily sneaker of the summer. I don't care what year it is. We interrupt this program to bring you... The Nike Air Force One Low. Ideally, the all white pairs, but really any of them are perfect for summer. These are extremely versatile, affordable, and there is a massive variety of styles to choose from. The forces I'll be wearing a lot this summer are the CPFM, Nocta, and Off-White Lemonade Forces. The Nocta because of the comfort and quality, the Off-Whites for flair, and the CPFM just to be different. However, the traditional all-white pair is a summer staple and I don't see that changing anytime soon. If you enjoy content like this and want to see more, this is definitely the place for you. I do other sneaker videos, clothing videos, lacing videos, and yeah. Anything else relating to sneakers or clothing content, it's all here on the channel. I would highly appreciate it if y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't yet. The grind is not stopping. Comment down below your favorite summer sneaker. And... Yeah. I hope all of y'all have an amazing day. Stay safe and see you next time.